Hi, it's Megan. I wanted to do a review for the Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette. So, this is what it looks like. You can hear it shaking in the, uh, the silver, the mesh. So, this is it. You have nine colors of the Deluxe Eyeshadows. And these colors are now discontinued. They're not for sale. This is my old palette. I just kept seeing it up, discounted, and just I wanted to discuss it. Um, so I just pulled my old messy palette and said, oh, you know, that's the way it goes. So you have Fishnet, which is um, a classic Urban Decay shade, which is kind of a uh, purple, pink, lavender thing. You have Honey, which is a really stunning gold. You have uh, Ransom, which is one of my favorite shades of all time, which is like this deep blue with a little purple in it. You have Graffiti, which I almost did on my eyes today because it's just such a fun color. Like, who would think people could wear this color, but you can, trust me. But I just went for the purples instead. And then you have Zero, which is a black, 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 black. And I'm going to have my natural light swatches so you can see piece a uh, stunning again another urban decay classic which is not teal exactly but just almost i don't know i would call that like almost a turquoise stunning color shag which is glistening brown light scratch which is more pink than it probably looks on camera and underground it's kind of a hard or cooler um, bronze but warm shade cool cool shade um what I did is I did scratch up here right under my brow and then a little bit in the corner and then I did ransom on the outer part of my lid and up into the crease a little bit I did fishnet as an under eyeliner and then I did zero kind of lining the top eye so the deluxe eyeshadow is supposed to be kind of a creamier richer better texture than the regular urban decay shadow which is already a good set of shadows to begin with um do i notice the difference in formulas no not really honestly but i would say these are creamier and they don't have as much of that chunk that you can sometimes get in other um from Decay Shadow, so yeah, I guess I guess I noticed a slight difference. They're creamier, uh, they're they're very pigmented, they're beautiful, they blend beautifully, amazingly, and they're very rich colors. And you get these two little, obviously I don't use these useless little brushes, although I think some people love these, but it's just not my thing. So what do I think of this, and why did I decide to do a review? Um, I had a really hard time deciding how to do my eyes because I just don't think this is a standalone palette um, at all. I love the colors but I don't think that you can get a complete look out of them. These are so pigmented and richly colored they're really compliments to other looks that you have but I wanted to do a video where I just use these colors and that was very hard to do. So I thought about doing the the browns and the greens and I thought well but you need a lighter shade to mix in. I thought about doing the purples. I would not have put scratch in the inner corner if I'd had another color that kind of complemented Ransom. So my eyes are fine. They're pretty but um, I don't think you should judge the palette based on that. What I would do with this, what I do with this having it, is um, take the color and just use these richly pigmented colors. There what my brush is the blues, the purples, the greens, and put those right in the crease and blend them in a little bit so they lighten as you go and maybe put them under your eye a little bit and they will just open your eyes up and just you'll go wow. Um, with the more neutral ones, the honey, the shag, the scratch, and the underground, the honey, these right here, those you can just use on your lid and they're, they're fine. But you do need to do another look with that. You can't just use those. You need to put something lighter up here. Um, for a natural look, you can go with that, or for a darker look, you can maybe do a brown eyeliner, not the zero that's the black. And then zero is just a perfect color. It's just a great kind of matte-ish, blendable. I love how it blends. So I'm playing around with it on my hand. Let me do it on my arm so I can do it. So you take a swatch of the black, and then you can watch just how beautifully it blends into kind of a light gray. That would be kind of a fun shade to play with alone on the lid. So overall, I like this. I think it's a really great addition if you already have a lot of makeup to just add a little bit of punch and color to what you already have. 
and at the price point that I'm seeing it online right now, I think it's a definite, gosh, you got to try this. And these are going to be gone. I mean, right now, this whole line of eyeshadows has been discontinued, so I would try while you can. Um, please subscribe on YouTube. Please comment. I'm trying to get better at videos so I can make videos for my book, Your Child at the Top, a parent-focused education book. If you have suggestions for videos I should do, please let me know. I would love to hear it. And I think that's it. Thanks.